everyone loves a bargain, everyone loves beer, and everyone loves Iron Maiden. So combine those three together, you get this. This is Sun and Still. It is a Japanese lager by Robinson's Brewery, but what's it gonna be like? And where's that bargain coming into this? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we've got a review of Iron Maiden beer. Now usually an Iron Maiden beer, they're not usually that great, but this one is some a little bit different. This is Sun and Steel, um, obviously with this sort of samurai sort of theme. Sun and Steel is a song from Peace of Mind album, um, if you know Iron Maiden. And this is a lager. A lot of their others are like more like real ales, but this is actually a lager. And it's not just any old lager, no, it is a, a lager infused with sake. So it's a Japanese lager, um, what does it say here? And it's 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 in double fermented with, with a sort of sake in, and it's involved. And obviously Bruce Dickinson's got involved in this, like he likes to get involved in all of the, all of the beers from Robinson's. So hopefully this is gonna bring something a little bit different. Now, the thing that I mentioned at the front of this video was talking about being a bargain. Well, it is. This is a 330ml bottle of beer. It's got an Iron Maiden stuff on it. You think you're gonna pay a premium for that. Japanese lager is a little bit quirky, a bit different. 89 pence. And you don't get this from your normal run of the mill supermarket. No, you get this from H&M. B&M supermarket. Bargain, are they still, are they called Bargain of Madness anymore? Or is it just, I think it's just B&M, but I think it used to be Bargain of Madness, but B&M, uh, one of their super stores, so it's uh, one of their large stores I found these in. And let's say 89p, so I bought a few of them because I thought, how bad can it be for 89p? You, you know, it's gonna be good. But let's crack it open and get it into a glass and see if it's gonna be better than hopefully things like Trooper and all those sort of ones, which I'm not a massive fan, been a massive fan of. But obviously, you know, I, I like Larg and I like this and I'm in, intrigued to see what this Japanese sake infused, uh, I don't even know what sake actually tastes like. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually pick up the flavors from that, but beer in a glass, it's a very light, very clean, lots of carbonation. Oh, you can see my face there in the uh, through, through there. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. We've got a very ice white head. It looks quite a sort of soft, almost compacted. I mean, I've got three fingers, but I probably pulled it well too quickly. Carbonation is moving quite slowly. So you know, I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't think it's going to be a really overly fizzy beer, but let's see what it smells like. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it smells like lager. I mean, there's the malts in there. I'm not picking up anything of... I'm not picking up anything different that could be sake. I mean, there is an, it's a little bit more perfumey than a lot of lagers, but it smells all right. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. That is pretty good. Certainly for 89p, that is a very nice lager. The big star of it, though, is that, you know, with lager, expecting lots of carbonation. It's, there's a little bit of zippy, sort of prickly carbonation in the mouth. But it, but it feels quite soft. And, and this is quite, a, this is uncommon, I think, for a lot of lagers, when you get that sort of softness. And there is a definite element of soft. I mean, you can see the head, and it looks really sort of soft. Yeah, it's silky smooth in the mouth. It's got a really nice mouthfeel for a lager. Flavour-wise, it's very crisp. It has that that little bit of perfumey in um, sort of flavour that like the aroma, but I wouldn't say it was like dominant. I've had a lot more perfumey lagers than this, on perfumey beers generally. So there's a little bit of an element of perfumey. Whether I'm picking up anything in terms of the sake, what any sort of different flavours, it's difficult. I can't really pick them out at all. For me, it's like a nice, crisp, quite soft very sessionable lager. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I bought a couple. In fact, I'm gonna probably go and buy a few more because this is a, a very easy drinking, sessionable beer. It's 4.8, so it's not, it's you know, it's a premium lager sort of uh, ABV, but it's the softness, it's the very high levels of drinkability that really sort of gives this beer a little bit better than a lot of the sort of 
slightly different sort of craft lagers that you get. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I find they're a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes they can just be, you just think, well, they're not that much different than a lot of your sort of mass produced lager. Okay, you get some that are a little bit unfiltered. They've got a little bit more citrusy flavours or a bit more malty. This one to me is like, it reminds me more of Italian lagers really. But it's it doesn't go too malty. It doesn't go too perfumey. It's got a nice level of crisp sweetness in there. But the big star of it for a lager for me is the fact that it's so smooth. It's really, really smooth for a lager, um, but still doesn't lose its refreshment. It's a really good beer. And as you said, you know, um, B&M, 89p. Yeah, it's a free 30 ml bottle, but for 89p, I think that's a cracking good value, especially for an Iron Maiden theme beer. I mean, look at that. Great, great artwork, as you would expect, because it's Iron Maiden, all their artwork's great. But that is definitely recommended. So Sun and Steel, it's a um, a lager infused with sake. Whether that's just a bit of a gimmick, because I'm not really picking that out. Maybe if you're a real Japanese sake expert, you may pick that out. But I think most people are just going to go, yeah, it's a pretty good lager, and it's got Iron Maiden on it, so that's pretty good. And that gets my that that makes me pay my 89p without any hesitation at all. But let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Sun and Steel. This is an Iron Maiden themed beer from Robinson's, of course, um, and it's infused with sake, but it's a lager, basically. Um, and it's a pretty damn good one as well. Um, we'll go through the scores. It's difficult to score. I find it quite difficult to score lager because you don't get lots of the big flavours and big aromas and all that, you know, and it doesn't, you, they usually look similar. So this is going to be scored more for the fact that it's a lager than it is a you know a craft beer in general so we'll start with aroma because i mean it smells pretty good it's not too malty it's not there is no sort of funny smells that you can sometimes get especially with bottled lager there's a slight perfumey flowery sort of ness to it but it, but it's not overpowering and it still smells very inviting i'm going at 13 for aroma i mean that's high for lager i think but you know i think for a lager it's got a good aroma so i'm basing it on that 13 for aroma appearance wise again appearance i mean it's you know it looks like a lager but it's got a nice it's got a nice lace in the head is well retained it's because it's, it's quite soft um it, it, i think that the head works pretty well and the color is nice and crisp um i should have poured probably my second bottle into that really um because there's not much left of it but it's a very good looking lager i think and it does it reminds me of the likes of Peroni and things like that a nice light colored um with a nice soft fluffy head so i'll give it nine for appearance again this think of this as more in, in terms of la compared with other lagers and flavor wise well, I think it's, although I'm not really picking out the the, the sake part of it. Is it sake? Saki? It's crisp. It's light. It's got a nice little bit of sweetness in there. But the big star of the show really for, for this being a lager is that it's quite soft. It goes down really, it's really smooth. It goes down really easily. There's not loads and loads of real fizzy carbonation that you get with lots of lager. And, and I think that that's going to appeal to a lot of people, especially if you're you're more into your IPAs and your sort of and your sort of low levels of carbonation, sort of beers, your ales and stuff like that. I think this would be pretty good. I think this would be a cracking beer on tap as well. So I'm giving it 34 for flavour because I think it's one of the better lagers I've had. Value for money, well, 89p. 10 out of 10, got to be. 89p for a beer which got Iron Maiden on it. I think that's a really good value. And, and, and you know, if the beer was rubbish, then, you, you know, then it wouldn't get as high a score, but it's a good beer. So I'm giving it 10 out of 10. And my overall experience, well, as, as I've said on earlier videos, I'm not, I'm, I don't drink as much lager as I used to, but when I drink this, I think I could get right back into it again. This is the sort of lager, that flavour that I really like. As I said, it drinks really well. 
it's got more body and flavour to it, but without going too much into some weird overly malty sort of which I find that some good sort of more good quality higher rated lagers they can go a bit too malty or they're trying to do something different but this is nice and crisp and refreshing that you want from a lager but it's at the same time drinks really easily mainly because it's got quite a soft body so I'm giving it 16 for overall experience I think it's one of the better lagers I've had I mean you know I, I try not to be too biased because I'm a big fan of Iron Maiden or or the fact that I know it's 89p but I still think if this was like twice as much, I'd still think, well, this isn't bad, really. It's not a bad beer at all. But I'm giving it 16 for overall experience. And we top those scores up, we get an 82. This is one of the higher, higher rated lagers that I've had for a long, long time. I mean, people who watched the channel before would know that I'm a big fan of the Audi sort of... Um, the, the the lager that they do in in there. I always forget the name, whether it's a 1539 Pilsner or... 1531 whatever it is but it's that you know the little cans silver cans of lager you get from Audi I'm a big fan of that this is close to it but it's probably a better quality beer whether it's you know so maybe more I drink it I don't I don't know if it gets as good but for me I I just really think that the flavor it just hits all the spots that you want from a lager so it comes highly recommended 82 for a lager and I made in lager for 89p Jobs are good, and yep, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. So if I if I was you, I'd stop the video now, head straight down to your nearest uh, B and M, and and see if you can pick up some. And, I, and, and if you can, then I, I would definitely buy more than one because it's definitely going to be worth your your time. It's a very good beer. So hope you enjoy this video, and until the next one, keep on rocking.